So this is a solidarity event and we're gathered here in support of and with gratitude toward the Native Americans who have traveled to North Dakota from all corners of the country and the continent. Members of some 280 different tribes where they've set up an encampment on the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation to say no to the Dakota Access Pipeline and further to admonish us of what we, all of us, in our hearts already know. Water, not oil, is life. And here's a story image I would like to share with you. Imagine. In the beginning, all the creatures received gifts from the Creator. First, the colors. To the blue jay, the Creator gave a rakish blue coat, blue and white. To the scarlet macaw, eye-dazzling reds and greens. To the monarch butterfly, an orange as bright as the sunrise, interspersed with midnight black. But when he came to water, waiting patiently, the Creator said, I am sorry, water. I have no color for you. Next, all the special flavors and tastes. To the cinnamon bush, a tongue zinging spicy bark. To the delicate orchid flower, the sweet vanilla bean. To a brave little tree, the pungent lemon fruit. But when he came to water, waiting patiently, the Creator said, I'm sorry, water. I have no flavor or taste for you. Next, the scents. To the lilac bush, a fragrance as soft as the spring. To the lavender flower, a smell redolent with beauty. To the wild island rose, a scent like no other. But when he came to water, the Creator said, I'm sorry, water, I have no scent or special smell for you. And last, the Creator gave out a host of extraordinary forms, magnificent shapes and forms to the eagle, wide wings to carry him high above the earth, to the salmon, a sleek, smooth shape to render him a king of swimmers. To the cheetah, strong, sinewy legs to let him run like no other being in the world. But when he came to water, waiting patiently, the Creator said, I am sorry, water. I have no special shape or form for you. Whatever vessel shall hold you, be it jug or bowl or stream bed, or lake bed. That is the shape you shall wear. Of all the creatures, water was dearest to the Creator's heart. And seeing her there, standing giftless before him, the Creator spoke again. Dear water, since you are taking for yourself no special color of your own, no special flavor or scent or smell of your own, not even a shape that has not been given to you by others. In taking for yourself no thing, you and you alone have gained the power to give life to everything. Water, you are life. The water thanked the Creator, and he went on then to flow everywhere, on the earth, in the earth, and above the earth in the clouds. And not only there, but also in the blood of the body, the sap of the plant, the tears of the eye. But water today is under assault. And the brave and passionate souls who are now encamped at the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation in North Dakota are sounding the alarm. They who took with such unmatched care of all 
took care of all nature here on the continent of America for thousands of years, have risen in unity now as the conscience of a country. Our mere 150-year addiction to fossil fuels, once fed by easy oil and gas extraction, has turned now to extreme oil and gas extraction. And that extreme oil and gas extraction is abusing water and attacking it in the earth, where in tens of thousands of well sites, hundreds of millions of gallons of water are mixed with toxic chemicals and sand and then shot under pressure like a giant hypodermic needle into the earth, putting at risk our groundwater. And that extreme oil and gas extraction is attacking and abusing water on the earth. If, for example, the Dakota Access Pipeline is built, 17,000 gallons of oil every single minute will be coursing through almost 1,200 miles of snaking metal pipes. And pipelines leak at an astounding rate. We know that putting at risk not only the Missouri River, the drinking water of the Standing Rock Sioux, but countless rivers and streams throughout the nation. Last and most seriously of all, that extreme oil and gas extraction is attacking and abusing water above the earth. For when we burn the oil and gas that we're sending through those pipes, we add day by day to an already intolerable burden of carbon pollution in the air and in the sea. As many of you know, the Gulf of Maine alone has been warming at a record pace, crashing the shrimp and blue mussel populations and the codfish, putting at risk our whole lobster fishery and our clam flats. The oceans of the earth are very much endangered. And so we stand here today in solidarity with the indigenous peoples of North America, grateful for their voice. That is the voice of humanity's conscience. That is the voice of our children and the children of our children who are waiting to be born. Take care of our water. Our water is our life.